I'm Steve Nunn, President and CEO of The Open Group, a global consortium that enables the achievement of business objectives through technology standards. We have a diverse membership of more than 675 organizations around the world who work to achieve standards and certifications in a number of areas. These include enterprise and business architecture, security, healthcare, real-time and embedded systems, and process automation. There's a lot going on at the Open Group at the moment, and we've had some great highlights over the last year or so. One of the highlights was uh, the release of the latest version of our very successful TOGAF standard, that's version 9.2, which is widely used by the world's leading organizations. As the Open Group's flagship standard, TOGAF is still in great demand across the world, and we have a certification program for TOGAF, which now has more than 88,000 individuals uh, certified to that standard. We've also seen considerable membership growth in the Open Group over the last year, particularly from industries where we may not have expected there to be interest just a few years ago. These include industries such as oil and gas, pharmaceutical, petrochemical, pulp and paper, food and beverage, and utilities. Overall, in 2018, we saw our membership grow by at least 30 organizations a quarter. We also saw the formation of a brand new forum in 2018, the Open Subsurface Data Universe Forum. This is a group of customers and suppliers in the oil and gas industry working together to create a standard for a data platform for exploration, development and wells data. Already this year, we've been able to announce the publication of a preliminary standard, version one, of our open process automation standard. The publication of that standard represents a significant milestone for the hard work uh, put in by the Open Process Automation Forum over the last 18 months to two years. The standard represents a desire on the part of the customers in that industry to build the next generation of systems on open standards and an open architecture rather than the traditional proprietary based systems that they've been accustomed to. On the certification side, we've recently added a new program to our Open Professions certifications, and that is for data scientists. As of March this year, the Open Data Scientist program is available to data scientists who can show skills and experience in that discipline over the course of their careers. Over the last few years, we've seen a considerable interest in our standards from governments around the world. A particularly good example is India, where we've been working for some time with the Indian government on an enterprise architecture standard that will help them achieve their goal of boundaryless information flow, which also happens to be the Open Group vision. In November last year, the Indian government published a national standard called NDA. The NDA standard is substantially built on our own TOGAF standard, which will create a considerable demand for those with TOGAF certifications in India. Of course, all of this takes a lot of work and there are many organizations involved in achieving these standards and certifications. They include customer organizations, supplier organizations, government agencies, academic institutions, consultants, trainers, all helping us spread the word of open standards and boundaryless information flow all around the world. I'd like to thank you all for your continued hard work and for helping us prove the value of our mission.